Hey guys, welcome back to your 8th video on JavaScript. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the if-else statement used in JavaScript as well as many other programming languages. So the if-else statement is a great way to test to see if something is true. And if it is, we can go ahead and execute something. And if it's false, we can go ahead and execute something else. And all conditions are going to go inside parentheses. This is where we're going to test to see if something is true or false. And that's kind of just what programming, computer programming is in a nutshell. We're just going to test to see if things are true or false, and if they are, we're going to execute something, and if it's false, we're going to execute something else. So let's go ahead and create an example. So I'm going to start by creating two variables, and <coughs> excuse me, I'm looking around my room right now, and I'll just call this variable the clash, and we'll set this equal to 50, and this is a integer, right? Yep, okay, and we'll call this variable Frank Zappa, and we'll set this equal to 75. All right, now let's go ahead and create our if else statement. So we'll create if, now let's give it the condition, and we'll just say, and inside a condition in JavaScript, white space does not matter. So you can start it here, you can start it here, it doesn't matter. I'll just start it right here. We'll say the clash is less than Frank Zappa. And right here, we're using a comparison operator, and I'll do I'll do a video on comparison operators in the next video because there's quite a few of them. So if this is true, look at this. We're saying the clash is less than Frank Zappa, and it clearly is because 50 is less than 75. Let's go ahead and execute something. Let's go ahead and execute. We'll just write something out. But think of this on like a bigger scale. If something's true, right now we're just going to write this is true and let's go ahead and close that out but we could also inside our curly braces is where we execute something so we could execute like a whole different program we could you know redirect it to another page we just don't know JavaScript that well yet so we're just gonna go ahead and use the document dot write command because we want to output this is true and do our browser and do our front end so let's go ahead and save this right now and I'll reload it in our browser this is true because it is. But what if the clash was equal to 76? Let's save it and let's reload it. Nothing's going to output because it's not true. So that's where our else statement comes in. So right after our second curly brace right here, or our first closing curly brace, let's go ahead and create our else statement. I'm going to drop down our closing script tag. And let's say that, let's give it another opening and closing curly brace. Let's say, this is not true. Get a math tutor. And let's go ahead and close this out because it's a statement as well as we did right there. And let's go ahead and save it and refresh it in our browser. This is not true. Get a math tutor because 76 is greater than uh, Frank Zappo, which is 75. So again, we just created another program in JavaScript. We have two variables and we set them, we gave them integers, we gave them a value. And in the next video, I wanna talk about comparison operators right here. So let me know if you guys have any questions or comments because I'm always down for the feedback. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.